The Fly Creek Cider Mill near Cooperstown is celebrating its 160th anniversary. One of the ways they're celebrating is with a new cookbook, and Bill Michaels is the co-owner. Thanks for coming in. You've got some great stuff here. Thank you for having me. Really, 160 really, years. 160 years this year. Wow. So we're making apple salsa today. Apple salsa, which is our number one condiment at the mill. Uh, we start off with our uh, three cups of uh, tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then we also have one cup of red onion, and I got these through our CSA that we uh, had last night. It was our, our pickup. A quarter cup of cilantro. Now, people feel very strongly about cilantro. Can you leave it out if you have someone who's you like, can, eh, I love it personally. Or you can substitute um, uh, parsley, okay. parsley for it, and also mix in a little oregano too. Oh, good, okay. And then um, these are uh, one jalapeno pepper that's okay. chopped. Uh, a can, small eight ounce can of green peppers that's drained. Mm -hmm. And of course we have garlic. We have two cloves of mi minced garlic. And we finish it off with our apples. Now the apples that we're using in our recipe in our book are as a crispin because you can basically get crispins year round because these are ob obviously from last year's crop. They just came out of controlled atmosphere storage. So they are really green fresh, real crunchy, and they're sweeter than what you might find in a Granny Smith. Mm -hmm. They look like a Granny Smith, but these are 100% New York State grown apples, nothing from Washington right. at our mill. And uh, we have two of those that we're going to be putting in. Um, just chop them up, any size, doesn't matter. And then, of course, we don't want the skin in there, so that goes in. Now, do you have to worry because this is, you have two, two versions, a cooked yes. version and then a raw version. Do you have to worry about the apples turning brown? We're going to put a little bit of vinegar in there. Okay. That'll help with the acid. And is it apple cider vinegar? This is. Okay. <laughs> this is apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. You can also use red wine vinegar and then just a couple tablespoons of uh, olive oil and mix that up. And this can be cooked down and it'll last even longer, but this should last at least one or two weeks covered and refrigerated. And it's a tremendous. Uh, wow, well, that's a long time to last. Mm -hmm. And keep it covered. Yep. Uh, put a new piece of cover on it all the time. And this is um, our famous apple salsa. We also sell it at the mill in jars, which mm -hmm. is obviously we cook it so it's canned. Right. And we have it in regular, mild, hot, and also an apple and cranberry. Is that recipe in the uh, in the cookbook? That recipe is right in the cookbook. Um, it also tells a lot of history of the mill. We're in 1856. That was when the mill was born. Water-powered, water hydraulic mill, three miles from the village of Cooperstown. We've been pressing cider the old-fashioned way, and we're really Really happy to celebrate this year with our 160th year, and I brought a lot of our other beverages. I was about to say, you have, it's so much more <laughs> than just apples and cider. I mean, you have a, so many things that you guys sell there. Why don't you walk through real quick? Um, right now, here? I brought with us our hard cider, and I poured you a glass. This is our apple raspberry, which is a carbonated pep, uh, product. Um, apples, hard cider mm -hmm. with a hint of raspberry. We also make an apple frost wine, which is similar to what you might find in an ice wine. We take regular sweet cider, press it at the mill, concentrate it down through the freezing and thawing process, okay. and then ferment it. We also have apple wines and apple cranberry, apple and black currant, regular apple wine, and apple cherry, and of course our apple pies, Hi. and yep. our mill-aged, extra sharp, creamy, Cheddar cheese. Fantastic. You can find all these products at the uh, Fly Creek Cider Mill near Cooperstown. We also have the recipe for the um, apple salsa on our website, WNYT.com. Thank you so much for Thank coming you for in. Always good me. to see you. Wonderful. When your sweetie's gloomy or your family's in a fix, go straight to the Fly Creek Cider Mill. It's in 1856.